Adnoc has recently announced the acquisition of a stake in VCTI, a global storage terminals operator and a VTOL group company. Today, we're speaking with Russell Hardy, CEO of VTOL, about investments and trading. I am Mesh'al Kindi, and this is Adnoc Insights. Welcome to Adnoc Insights, Russell. Morning. In your view, what does Adnoc's investment mean to VTTI and VTOL? And why did you choose Adnoc as a partner? So first, uh, let me say, uh, you know, we're very, very excited about the investment uh, that Adnoc is making at VTTI, joining us in that uh, partnership. We've, we've, uh, we've long been um, an owner of VTTI and uh, uh, grown that business over the last uh, 10 years uh, as, a, as a daughter company of, of VTOL. And uh, it's, 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 as you say, very, very exciting to have Adnoc in it as part of that partnership. And I think it's going to help us uh, grow that business and propel it for, a, for, for the next decade. Uh, you know, the market's uh, evolving and uh, emerging markets are becoming more and more important, both to this region and to uh, global oil growth. And I think, you know, having Adnoc as a partner in VTTI is going to help both sides to uh, exploit those opportunities. We've seen a lot of volatility in the oil market over the last year. What role does this partnership play in the context of such a volatile environment? So I think uh, the more integrated you are, uh, I think the more uh, diversified your income is, uh, the less exposed you are to vol volatility. Storage is a great asset for, um, for di diversifying that, uh, that exposure to oil prices. And clearly, when oil prices are low, storage tends to be more valuable. And when oil prices are high, storage tends to be a little, uh, a little less valuable. So it's a good di diversifier in that sense. Um, but I think, you know, overall, it's, it's, it's less about the oil price movements themselves, and it's much more about developing a route to market uh, and developing that next stage uh, into the downstream. From a trading perspective, how would the oil market evolve in the long term to cope with both the geopolitical and the environmental challenges that are to come? Geopolitical noise. Um, uh, I think the main thing that people are concerned about at the moment is global growth, and beneath that, the, the relationship between uh, the US and China and its approach to to trade tariffs, whether that problem can be solved. You know, it's been ongoing now for about 18 months, um, and it's causing quite a lot of ripples uh, in terms of in terms of global growth. So, you know, I think that's the main thing that people are people are concerned about. But but looking beyond that, yes, there's certainly in Europe there's a there's there's a desire to diversify away from traditional energy types and to move into new energies. Um, but the developing world uh, still needs a lot of energy. There's a lot of people that today don't have motorized transport. Um, and so there's a lot of growth opportunities still in those markets where energy consumption is, um, is let's say, just beginning its journey uh, from fairly low levels. Can you elaborate on Fujera's importance in VTTI's portfolio? We invested, uh, I think it was 2007, in the uh, Fujera terminal. Um, we bought it from, from the government um, and we rapidly expanded the, the terminal. I think it was about 400, and 400 450,000 cubes. Um, and I think we're now at about 1.6 million cubes. So we've grown that footprint uh, in quite a big way. And the market has developed in the Middle East over that period of time. Uh, we've had growth in all of the, the, the regional countries. Um, there's been a lot of refinery expansions, which has brought trade to and from Fujairah. And now Fujairah is very much becoming a um, uh, center for, for benchmarks, benchmarks on products at the moment. Um, and so, you know, there, there are published stock data. Um, people are, most, most traders want to be in Fujairah. Um, and I think it's a natural evolution for, for Adnoc as they, as they develop their trading business, that they, that they take some positions in Fujairah and hopefully VTTI can, can, help, uh, can help build a platform for them to, uh, to achieve those goals. Before we conclude, what's your vision for what VTOL will look like 20 years from now? Crude oil and petroleum products are going to continue to play a big, a big part. We see growth uh, out to 2030, certainly. Um, it may go a little bit 
beyond that. Um, it, it's obviously a function of how quickly electric vehicles and such like come into come into the marketplace. But uh, we see those growth opportunities out to 2030. Of course, they're going to be different regionally because Europe is is less likely to take a share of that growth and it's more likely to decline over that period of time. But as I said before, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of uh, emerging market demand to come. We've entered a few countries where we see those growth opportunities um, like Pakistan, Brazil, Turkey uh, and across Africa, where we do see very positive uh, outlook for oil demand and a very positive outlook for, for VTOL. But at the same time, we have to be conscious that things are going to change over the next 10 to 15 years, that we have to build our presence in other alternative energies. Uh, we've, we've long been a gas player. Um, we have a big uh, gas business a gas business in Europe, a gas business in the States, and an international LNG business, which uh, which has grown a lot over the last three years. The international LNG market is going to possibly double over the next 10 years. So it's a fantastic place to, to put some resources and to uh, develop our presence. We have a few renewable projects, fairly modest, and uh, uh, for us, we're, 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 we're trying to find a path that, uh, that gives us a... Um, a credible future in those in those areas because certainly for us it's important to have that uh, that diversification because um, the oil products markets um, are probably going to be finite growth won't last forever although I'm not pessimistic about growth just this second but uh, looking to your question 20 years ahead then we need to be there Russell thank you for your valuable insights thank you very much very nice to be here